You can't look on this as some kind of defeat. That's what it is. I mean, what it is exactly. Well, it's your own fault this is happening. All right, I, I just don't need you sticking it to me, Jackson. I still don't understand why we can't just refuse. Because the DVX will make a very big deal out of it, that's why. They already accuse the U.S. of coercion, abduction, even brainwashing. That's ridiculous. Any brainwashing being done around here is being done by them. We know that. They know that. Even the State Department knows that. But it's what the rest of the world thinks that has us worried. There's got to be some way. There isn't. We have got to cooperate with the DVX. You're signing the death warrants, I'm Jackson. Sorry, I can't be concerned about it. Well, that. damn it, I am concerned. That man was my teacher. He's a friend. We are the most powerful government in the world. Run by politicians, Robert. And this is an election year. No one, and I mean no one, wants to see an international incident come out of this. Only I'd known. Had, had some idea. It's the end of the line, Robert. The Porchenkos must be turned over to their people. The Great Dupin. Any luck? Yep. All of it bad. You tried Washington? I have been lobbying every government politician, anybody that'll talk to me for most of the morning. And? Jackson's going to be here to collect the Porchenkos this afternoon. That's what I was afraid of. All right, how are we going to stop him? I'm not certain we can. You can't be serious. You're just going to turn the Porchenkos over to the DVX? Robert, why don't you just kill them yourself? That's what's going to happen if they're sent back to the motherland. Now look, will you calm down? No, I won't calm down. I'm not about to let Jackson just walk away and with neither them. am I. But you just... I just said that I wasn't certain we could stop them. I said nothing about not trying. So you do have a plan. More of an idea at the moment. However, I'm going to need you and Celia to help me pull this one off. Pull what off? Saving the Borchenkos from the DVX. Along with it. Of course. You do realize how risky it's going to be. I told her. Absolutely. Why else do you think I agreed to help out? I love risks. Holly. I know, I know. I'm not really doing it because of that. No? Well, not totally, anyway. You don't know how relieved I am to hear that. It's a very worthwhile cause. Yes, I should say it is. I can't imagine anything more worthwhile than saving two lives. Mm. Well, what about Celia? Is she in on this? She will be. You haven't discussed it with her yet? No, but she doesn't have much choice. If we don't do something, we're all but sentencing the Porchenkos to death. Yeah, me. How is Celia? Robert. Doctor, Mrs. Porchenko? You should not. Uh, any problems? No. Good, well, I'll take them now. Okay, sure you want me to stick around just in case? No, they, uh, they'll be all right here. You can go. Okay. Thank you. All right, Under Secretary Jackson will be here with the, uh, DVX representative shortly. We don't have much time. Right. Yeah. It is time to say goodbye, Mr. Grant. Uh, uh, Dr. Fortune. I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful. It is not your fault. We will always remember. We will always remember what you have done on our behalf. Uh, yes. Oh, Grant, I only wish, I only... Uh, I know this has been very difficult for you. So could you. I'm so sorry. So what are we, Celia? So what are we? It's hard to believe I may never see you again. Oh, I, uh, I wouldn't be too sure of that. What do you mean? Well, you never can tell. You might just be seeing the Porchenkos sooner than you figured. Mm -hmm.